Hi guys, so today I want to make a short video on 10 tips for the CrossFit Open. The first one is to just do it. Take part, enter the CrossFit Open. I know this is not really a tip to perform better, but it's really an encouragement, especially for the beginner athletes and the intermediate athletes. I know the CrossFit Open can be seen as for the elite athletes to be a qualifying for the cross to well to be the qualifying round on their road towards the CrossFit Games, but it's really an opportunity to take part in this whole CrossFit fitness movement and be part of the CrossFit community across the world. Even if you haven't mastered all the movements yet, you can take part. There's a scaled option, and everyone can really take part in this. If this is your first open, it's really an opportunity, A, to set a benchmark and then see how you compare to yourself next year. And B, I, I want to guarantee that you will, you will surprise yourself. You are going to push yourself a bit more than you normally would. You might even be um, surprise yourself in getting your first double under or getting your first muscle up or picking up a weight that you previously thought you weren't able to so just do it enter and see how it goes point two and three i'm going to address together which is warming up and cooling down now this is a very important aspect to remember to do because what often happens in the open is that they work in heats. So where a coach will usually warm you up and cool you down, they might be busy judging another athlete or managing the heats or whatever. And they might not be able to give everyone the amount of attention they usually do. So you need to take responsibility to warm up properly and cool down. This is really very important and plays a big role in preventing injury. Make sure of the movement standards and make sure that you and your judge are on the same page. When the workout is released, they're going to tell you a lot of standards that goes along with the workout. Is it a power snatch or a squat snatch or is ground to overhead acceptable? Chin over bar or chest to bar? One thing that I suspect is going to happen this year for burpees if you step in it's going to be a scaled compared to if you jump up it's going to be an oryx so make sure you know the standards tip number five will be to use proper form during one of the workouts last year we did dumbbell snatches and i was not focusing on my technique so a lot of the times my hips were higher than my shoulders and that really put unnecessary strain on my back I didn't manage to finish the workout because my back was so 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 sore so if I had used proper form from the beginning and made sure my technique is right I probably would have saved my back and most likely would have gotten a better time so that's my fifth tip is don't injure yourself by using bad form Make sure you do it right. Ooh. Pace yourself, but push yourself. You don't want to feel after a workout that you could have gone harder, you could have left everything on the floor. You want to leave everything on the floor. But also, you need to pace yourself in that you don't want to go out guns blazing in a 10 minute workout and then two minutes in you are exhausted so really listen to your body pace yourself but not to an extent that you feel you could have done more so push yourself also tip number seven Watch the clock when you rest. You don't want to constantly keep checking the clock, but a lot of people don't realize how long 
they spend resting or just catching their breath. So I would suggest you figure out how long you are going to rest at a time. Even tell your judge, maybe he will encourage you. If you say, I want to rest only 10 seconds, he will only allow you to rest 10 seconds and then push you to go. But really try and keep your rest as short as possible and watch the clock while you rest. Don't think you're only resting for 10 seconds when actually it's 30 seconds. That's tip number seven. The next tip I want to give you is to learn the skills. Now, I don't expect you to add another 10 or 20 kilograms to your snatch within the next month. There's actually two skills that I'm referring to. That's double unders. You are going to get double unders. I am 99% certain of that. So if you haven't got double unders down, spend time practicing it. Even if you get one at a time, just start getting double unders. And the next one is hook grip. If you're not using hook grip, start using it, start learning how to use it and start applying that because you will very likely get a high volume, low weight snatches or cleans and for that you want to use hook grip. And another exercise that you're going to get a lot is burpees. You're going to get burpees in the open. Tip number nine is prepare to grow. So many people get their first muscle up in the open. I mean, you'll probably get a workout to this open where there's a muscle up in it. And then I encourage you to go and look how many posts there are with people saying, I got my first muscle up. So really don't let the fact that you can't do a movement get you down into the open and maybe you surprise yourself and you get that movement. So prepare to grow. Be prepared to surprise yourself. And number 10 is the final tip. And this one is the most important tip. Have fun. Encourage others. I mean, if there's heat, shout someone on and get to know someone that you can cheer on and encourage them. But have fun and really enjoy the open and those are my 10 tips if you've enjoyed them please hit the like button if you've got some more tips for the open let me know in the comments below and also if any of them are not clear and you would like me to exact or explain any of them then also let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and enjoy the open one more thing next week i'm gonna share one tip for beginners athletes that if you do this you are going to get a much better ranking in the open.